Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're having a magical day, and thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel. We're back with a new Mythic Rank deck, Ao River. It is the Jezekai Forged color combination, blue, white, and red, utilizing Urbrask's Forge, the all-star artifact for three mana that makes a token with haste and trample every turn that grows and grows and grows. It is phenomenal. We have a... Uh, a lot of control elements within this deck uh, and some nice draw to facilitate consistency as well. We're going to break down the list in its entirety, talking about the strategies and synergies held within the deck, then demonstrating this within Mythic Rank against not only the best players, but decks in the world right now. And of course, we'll wrap up with our final thoughts and deck review and of course, our pack opening. So don't go anywhere. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. You can also become a YouTube member for access to our exclusive Sunday stream, as well as our deck lists in real time, as well as the stats through Untapped. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's take a look at the new deck. Here we are with the Jezekai Token Control. A three color standard best of one deck with a 2.9 average mana value. We have two creatures, 34 non-creatures, 24 land. Let's go. We're building around Urobrask's Forge for three mana, the new artifact that I mentioned. And at the beginning of combat on your turn, put an oil counter on the forge. Then create X, uh, or sorry, create an X1 red Phyrexian horror creature token with trample and haste, where X is the number of oil counters on the forge. Sacrifice that token at the beginning of the next end step. We absolutely love it. So, you know, first you get a 1-1, one, one, then you get a 2-1, then you get a 3-1. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We will be uh, facilitating extra counters on the forge through the churning reservoir for one, an artifact and at the beginning of upkeep on your turn. Uh, put an oil counter on another target non-token artifact or creature that you control. And then we can pay two, tapping it creating a 1-1 red Phyrexian Goblin creature token, activating this only if an oil counter was removed from a permanent you control this turn, or a permanent you control with an oil counter on it was put into the graveyard this turn. Oakley, Dokley. So that can A, stack counters onto the forge, but B, can make the 1-1s one as we pull them off of Norn's Wellspring for two mana and artifact. Thank you so much for the two months. I really do appreciate that. Whenever a creature you control dies, the forge tokens self-sacrifice scry one and put an oil counter on the wellspring then we pay one tap it remove two counters which would then allow us to utilize the reservoir's second ability to create that one one uh, and of course we'll draw two cards for the removal of those two counters uh draw one card sorry draw two that, can you imagine uh i wish in short um so that's kind of a, a nice way to be utilizing oil counters within the deck as well our final oil counter card will be the Tablet of Completion for two in Artifact. We tap it to put a counter on it. We can tap it to add a generic mana if we have two counters on it. Then we can pay one, tap it, draw a card if we have five counters on it. Very easy to accumulate. The ramp is nice. The mana consistency in a three-color deck uh, is cool as well because now uh, we can use this as generic and our other color sources can kind of fill around the edges, right? So uh, just the ramp is really nice here. And then finally, we're going to proliferate not only the oil counters, but the loyalty counters as well off of our two planeswalkers through experimental augury for two mana instant speed, looking at the top three of our library, putting one into our hand, the rest in the bottom of our library in any order, and then proliferating. This is at instant speed, which is nice. And again, it can really help push up the tablet. It can help push up the wellsprings. It can help push up the forge, as well as our two planeswalkers, the wanderer. Oakley, Dokley. Uh, a lot of control elements within the deck as well. Destroy evil, destroying enchantments. Abrade, destroying artifacts. Also destroying creatures with power three or less, uh, or dealing three damage, I should say. Uh, destroy evil, doing creatures with toughness four or greater. So really nice spread here. Two copies of negate, counter target non-creature spell. Looking at you, farewell. Maybe march or other artifact removal spells. Field wipes through the White Sun's Twilight for two plus X, so needing to cast this for seven total, if it's gonna act as a field wipe. If not, it's just making tokens and gaining life, which we can double through the Dominus. Now the Dominus will also double the tokens generated through Urabrax's Forge, which is really good. So gaining X life, creating X one one mites that can't block and have toxic one. If X is five or more, destroy all other creatures, keeping your mites. We love it. 
On that same note, depopulate for four sorcery speed. Each player who controls a multicolored creature card will draw a card and then destroy all creatures. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Brotherhoods end for three, choosing one. Three damage to each creature and planeswalker or destroying all artifacts with mana value three or less. That's not something we want to do in our deck. All of our artifacts are mana value three or less. Keep that in mind. And then we have the Exile through the Wandering Emperor as a control element here. Minus two, uh, Exile, target tapped creature. You gain two life. She is a four mana, three loyalty planeswalker with flash that you can activate loyalty abilities at instant speed on the turn she enters. Plus one, putting a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. It's going to gain first strike until the end of turn. Minus one, creating a two, two with vigilance, which is A-OK -okay as well. And then the Eternal Wanderer has the control element of the minus four each player, uh, for each player, sorry, choose a creature that that player controls. Then each player sacrifices all creatures uh, they control not chosen this way, right? So you get to choose the creature that they don't sacrifice, which is nice. They wipe everything else. She costs six mana organically and no more than one creature can attack the Wanderer uh, each combat. Plus one, exiling up to one target artifact or creature, returning it to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of their next end step. Uh, really nice just to eat tokens because they don't come back. And then uh, zero, creating a 2-2 two -two with double strike, which is pretty cool as well. So the Emperor, 2-2 two -two with Vigilance. The other Emperor, 2-2 two -two with First Strike, as well as the Twilight Sun can all provide double tokens on top of Mondrek Lord Dominus. 4 mana, 4-4. Four, four. If one or more tokens would be created under your control, twice that many are created instead. We can pay 1 generic, 2 white Phyrexian to sacrifice 2 creatures and or artifacts for our indestructible counter, which is quite nice. And again, um, you know, doubling down those tokens as well as uh, primarily that Forge token every turn, which is really cool. So the deck works uh, very well. We have draw with memory deluge looking at the top X where X is the amount of mana on this spell first for four and then for seven, putting two of those into our hand, which is beautiful. Oh, that flashback is nice to recast. And we already talked about the augury uh, allowing us to proliferate, but also providing uh, that draw for us in the deck as well. We have the empire, we have the city, we have the defiance for utility lands, and then just a bunch of dual lands for consistency, right? Uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy we love the deck we're having a ton of fun with this build um you know i think it's basically perfect right maybe uh dare right a, a disdainful stroke or something i don't know uh, always looking for improvements you know I, I i toot my own horn here but uh you know i'm just one perspective on the deck uh there's thousands of you you know, what do you guys think? Let me know as we watch in the comments below. Cheers. Thank you so much. Don't go anywhere because we're not only going to play some sweet magic, but we're going to open that pack as well. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel, become a YouTube member if you really want to go above and beyond. But most importantly, now this, you know, listen up here, everyone. Have an absolute magical day. Let's go. Our opponent is going first. We are also fairly slow. But, you know. With that being said, some pretty heavy cards on the top end for us. Hello. Vigilance is very good. Oh, nice. Makes it even more sweet when we wipe the field, but doesn't it, chat? Let's just forget that they stack their hand here. Let's pretend that they didn't get to do that. Yeah? You just discarded a Steel Seraph? Are you insane? It's a good card. They do hold Rafine for the draw of the multicolored creature, which I guess kind of sucks too, but whatever. You can't tell me what to do. Five mana, shouldered in the house. Boom, boom, boom. Shouldered in the house. We have five available mana. Yes. Turn, we have the Wandering Emperor open. 
We also have negate. And I would rather negate a uh, invoke despair. But if they attack first, you know, we, we do what we do. We might just get countered. Oh, you're a legend. Can we get a land off top for the sun? New bully for you. Forces the draw, which is great. Clean the field up, make our mites. Gain some life. Ayo, river. I, uh... Cannot defend against that. <laughs> Ooh. I guess we just dig. Looking for an answer. Hello. Dare you to block. I'll do anything to stop this damage. Whiff, whiff, whiff. Whiff, 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 whiff. No shielders, no ref mm, fiends. Ugh. Okay, that's pretty good. Ugh. That's pretty good, too. Rafine is so cool. Alright, they're gonna chonk us. Draw a card. Land. Danik. Can't do anything about it. That's life game, which sucks too. Draw a card. Hey! You are good. I know just what to do with you. Land out. And I'm taking it now before they get to connive again. Anyone who harms my people must contend yep. with me. Yep. Oh, absolutely. You're done. Um. You know, I'd rather hold them to sack with Mondrak, maybe. We're only getting two poison counters to six, and then, you know, nowhere. They can't block, but maybe they're better off to wait, let them attack, and then we can get more of them through? Question mark, question mark. Sorry, Wanderer. We'll miss you. I guess that's it, then. The life gain's good for them, too. No draw, because it was a Planeswalker. Are you going to discard your hand with Gix? Okay, let's draw. Okay, that is good. We have eight available mana. This is each player, right? So let's smash. They could have counter magic, I don't know. We have three poison counters in to seven. That's substantial. I'm wondering if we actually just make the samurai. Or bounce their creature. Bounce Gix. We have two mana still for negate. Plaza is up for hexproof. Try to best me if you can. So let's actually just make the samurai then. 
and turn. They're going to Gix ability and step for seven mana. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, okay. They toss two lands. Oh my god. They just pulled a white zone. But they cast for zero. So that does not uh, do anything. And then we counter this uh, this wanderer. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Their turn. The 2-2 two -two is up. That Wanderer would have been really bad because it could have bounced ours, our token there. And given them a clean kill. Oh, nice top deck. Only one creature can actually attack the Wanderer. So we're fine. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. It's still pretty good though. All right, just one, because that's a static ability. No more than one creature can attack the Eternal Wanderer each combat. And they're at seven, so they need to defend as well, right? Okay. Yeah, they have to defend. They could play this other card though, right? Denix backside. A pious apparition. Let's take a draw. I'm going to play Mondrak, and I'm going to make two Samurai tokens. I think that's pretty good. And then if they attack, they're screwed. Right? They don't want to tap out. They still have Plaza, but it's about getting them tapped. Brave. Others need my help. Take our draw. Mm. Well, spring is not the worst. It's acceptable. We can put counters on it with the reservoir as well. I think we just go for it. They need to block the poison. They're going to go to nine. It's worth killing Denik, right? Oh, we don't kill Benek. Oh, no, we do. I'm so confused. 
Double strike on three kills it. Do you often second guess yourself? Like a banshee? Uh, they will get to investigate, which is brutal. But it is what it is. Land can absolutely go. And the scry is worth it. Thank you for the follow. A braid is very good. You stay there. Then we draw the abrade. Which we can't play, but it's good to have. One mana, we're not doing anything anyways. Okay. They draw with their clue. Or their investigate token. <gasps> What'd they get? What'd they get? What'd they get? A land! Ha! Okay. Okay. And now what did they top deck? They still have one more draw. Here it is. Another land out. They need to defend. Dahlia out as well. Good defenders. They're attacking? I was going to say, whoa, that's like pretty brave, dude. Onto the Wellspring. Land out. Draw the card. It's tempting. This uh, plaza is quite annoying. Still think we go for it. And then if they're gonna plaza us, we do it on the stack. Just space bar it. If they're not willing to sit through it while I parse my hand, that's fine. Going first, three lands into a depopulate. Uh, acceptable. if we have a single game without a misplay. It's one of those days, you know? It's just... It happens. Yep, 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 yep. Nice land. Second blue source. And uh, we're good to go, right? an artifact so let's uh do the alternative i think that's pretty oh what am i doing i have an artifact oh my god one game without a misplay hgg i was just trying to be sassy i didn't even consider my own artifact i'm gonna uninstall myself really quick just stream over i told you it's a rough day today oh my god I was just thinking to myself, I never use this other mode. It could kill the Flesh Gorger too. Why don't I do that? Let me think, HGG. Oh, I have no shame. I'll show it to you. We're all just human. You know, making massive misplays one after the other. Play Shielder, dude. Or Invoke, that's really good. We 
try our best. For a second, I was thinking that they were going to protect that. They have just a cut down, though. We're moving one of our tukins. Let's pretend that Memory Deluge is going to save us. Probably just another invoke, right? And then do that three more times. That's what makes invoke, you know, that deck's really easy. You just cast that card. I like these sleeves a lot. Nice. Let's main phase this, look for anything. We need a forge, which we can play. We need a reservoir, which we can play. Next turn. Forge out. And we hit for one. Don't you dare remove my artifact. Alright, if we can continue to top deck clean removal, please play your flesh forger. Thank you. both of these and for two uh, so this is going up by three a turn that's pretty cool please don't invoke me 13 life oh there's six damage triple draw I'm gonna be sick gorge or whatever it can't tap it's got summoning sickness so deluge is safe they do have to discard one. Down to six. They're probably just going to kill us, right? Mondrak will give us lethal. If we're so lucky... As long as they don't, you know, hit us for six with another uh, invoke, which I assume they do. Then we should have lethal. No! They still can. One, four, five. No, okay, we're good. Wow. Wow. So we do have to wipe because they're first strike. We have eight mana. <gasps> wow. Now that is good. I'm coming over. And we totally redeem ourselves. Who needs the wellspring anyways? <laughs> oh my gosh. Just casual mythic matches. Going first with uh, like a bit of a slower start than I'd like, but oh well, it happens. We do have a nice wife available and get that tablet out, take our first oil counter. Mono black, we love it. Underdog is a go. Double oil counters. They both act as mana next turn. We have three, four, five available. I wonder what we use. Or do we work towards the draw. Actually, it doesn't matter. Creatures and Planeswalkers, not uh, artifacts, HGG. Underdog saves our entire field state, or else I probably would have, you know? <laughs> we have two mana up. We're holding a Destroy Eagle, potentially. We might also just stack oils. 
Yes, we're stacking oils. And then we're going to do that upkeep. in play. I just get so excited. I'm like a kid on Christmas when I get the forge. It's so much fun. I love it. Okay. A second. Okay, no. We're good. Let's just stack the forge. Does Mono Black have artifact removal? Probably. Nothing's coming to mind, though. The land is beautiful. Three damage. Kill the graveyard trespasser. This eats removal. I'm, I'm okay with that. I, uh, I like that quite a bit. These can one can go to five for the draw. The next goes to four. They're blitzing that for the draw themselves. One mana up. It's a land. Here's a draw for them. Surprised they don't use that to bring back their shieldred. Hmm. That's tasty. I'm gonna draw for the land. Yep. Five and one for six. Down to eleven potentially. Throw. Just eating their removal with these tokens is an enjoyable experience. I would love a memory deluge off the top. These tablets are fine as well. And a gate would be cool too for um, their invoke to spare. Good game, mono black. Going first, keeping our land. Tablet two, forge three. Very good. Proliferate active. We're gonna wait for the forge though. Thank for one, thank you very much. Borrowed time, you're a dirty dog. I'll be taking that back, I hope you know. Wellspring out. End turn. We take the scry. Land can go. Pass turn. We're looking for negate. That is our main attraction at this moment. Augury, this is a really nice time to proliferate. Turn, take the scry. Land can go.
We can wait. We'll do this on their turn. We really need that fair, uh, farewell killer negate. I'm scared. There's their land. Font of Hope. Interesting. Inspiring Overseer. Interesting as well. Nice. Okay, so we have the answer for this. Let's take a counter. Let's draw a card. Uh, that costs two, so we couldn't do it. Um, on the forge. Depopulate here. Take our draw, because I don't think we've played a land, have we? Number five. Take the scry. Land can go. Well... Yeah, land can go. I mean, the sun's cool and all, but we'll get there. We have the uh, the end. Watch us get extremely punished. Overseer's cool. The uh, the tablet's a land too. Remember, right? Just keep pushing up on the forge. That's why we kind of throw the land, because there's, there, you know, there's always going to be more land. Swing for seven. Oh yes, please do. Scry, land can go. We already have seven. Wipe their field. We have draws or the emperor. Elspeth. Hello. I guess we could have drawn for a negate, but... Risky biskies. Shield counter here. Frustrating. Watch us draw and negate any, you know, like we probably do. They're looking for farewell. They're looking for borrowed time. Emperor out. Take a plus. Submit zero on the forge. Play it safe. They could block that uh, that one regardless, right? Uh, this still isn't as bad as dying. Let's bounce their token. Surrender now, and we all leave with our lives. Have a nice trip. Make a token of our own. In turn, take the scry. Evil stays. I mean, I like evil. It's going to kill that announcement for us, potentially. End turn. Ossification taking our forge. Oh, the planeswalker. Not the forge. Hmm, interesting. Oh, hello. Only I had to destroy evil on the top of my library. Let's take the draw. <laughs> oh, hello. Let's 
so tempting, you know? I'm going to save it in case they have one of their own. Should be good. They're tapped out. Hey, Tuesdays. What's going on? He's like, I built this deck. Make sure you tell them that. I built this deck. <laughs> Cat foot. Get out of here. Alright, down to one. We scry. Lamb can go. Draw a card. Draw another card. End turn. New formats, cool. Adeline's alright. Unfortunately, it does not block the 11 11, which will be actually a 12 and then 13 1. Not an 11-11, but a 13-1. A little different, I guess. Oh, good game. All right, opponent's going first. We have good land. A little worried about double negate opening hand. But, you know. Forge on three is good. Hello, good game. on their turn encourages them to counter it and spend mana on their own turn if these forges make it through hallelujah this has to get countered I understand you know I totally get it but my question is do you have a second And should we just wait one turn? Keyword, yes. Oh. I mean, the negates are really good at this point. Moving forward, I am happy. We can play Mondrak and hold up negate. Let's go. They've bricked, which is so sad. Oh, yeah. Just holding up the gate, not really worrying about the indestructible. We'll get that next turn. No, you won't. You will remain bricked. Aha! It's a big hit. Stacking our tokens for indestructible. Tablet in play. And turn. Why not? Why not? Let me do it. Let me do it. Eight might tokens. <laughs> Sorry about your land. Our opponent goes first. We mulligan for better land. Let's keep six. Toss it to populate. Maybe let's keep them. At least we can cast it. Each first for negate. You know, I don't see them playing anything other than another creature, so here's the tablet.
Adeline, you gotta stop, dude. This is a big hit. Oh my gosh. Cover your eyes, chat. Oh my lord. That's my tablet of completion. Big hit. Big hit. Big hit. Down to eight. Ooh, do you think they have an indestructible uh, spell? I bet they do. No. Huzzah! We're still in a lot of trouble. Please don't play more creatures. Please don't play more creatures. Okay. Very good looking hand. So we have a turn one. We have turn two. We have turn three. Hello. Good game. Here's pretty cool. Three damage, thank you very much. Before there's any protection. Right, because it could protect something else from our depopulate. four drop too. Kamano's out. Plaza is not doing anything unless it's a one drop legendary. It is! You're a legendary. Let's get that forge rolling. And for one, I doubt it. Oh, they can't block. I guess they have super doubt they block. <laughs> oh, man. This is nice because we can sack uh, the artifact and creature, but we probably don't want to play till five, so we can do that. Do you think they have removal? It's one of those things. In best of one, you never know. I might just wipe the field. <laughs> mm, let me think. Um, this is just hex proof, right? So. This is tapped, and, uh, you know, they could have some form of indestructible here. That's no joke. Right? It's mail safekeeping. Lorraine's escape. Like, it exists. They're there. We have to hit for 3 to 16. Not too shabby. Next turn, we have an indestructible Mondrak. And a negate to protect from farewell. Played five this turn, next turn. Ah, I don't know. That's scary. It's going to be hard to sequence correctly. Is a creature based deck running farewell? Probably not, but fears and all. Super legends here. You are good. I like that. I also like double forge tokens, so let's just get after it. Boom, boom. It's also our indestructible. Which is acceptable. No blocks. And then we sack them. Because they would self-sack anyways, right? We lose four life. Um, it happens, you know? We have a fantastic blocker that's prone to, uh, not, uh oh Resistant to removal, not prone. This 
This is the best blocker, the bodyguard. Do you think they sack it? No. Down to four is not good. A land. This is two six sixes. Ayo River. Can I get a what what? Three damage to each creature and planeswalker. They're gonna put the indestructible on etching, which is fine. And it's a... Why didn't that work? Oh, Etching was not a legendary creature. It was just a plain old regular creature. I see. Good game! <laughs> we love it. Our opponent is going first. That's fine. We have nice land. Tablet on two is land for depopulate. On four. Anvil deck. That's cool. We haven't seen you in a while. Hmm. Just so happens to be in a braid. They get to... They could have self-sacked that to deal one damage and gain one life. Apparently they don't need to, though. Pretty cool. This is fun for me. Just get that out of here, too. Huzzah! I mean, the draw and discard is really good, right? Bat of Rebirth. What? This brings, like, uh, creatures back? Sorry. You do you. You have not a single creature. So, tablet out. Put an oil counter on, then we hold up negate with the experimental augury. Pass turn. Rackiner's Bergen. Hashtag not. No draw for you. Wormlet's pretty cool. Then a land. Then the Wormlet goes up with the treasure. Clean the field. Two for one. We'll have to put an oil counter on this tablet. Beautiful. Land out, draw, proliferate. Can't tell me what to do. There it is. That can go to five next turn. Hit for one. Oh, I guess I maybe should have taken Destroyed Evil. <laughs> Immediately punished. Oh. Never mind. I'll allow it. Tablet. 
Let's hold the negate up. Hit for two. Oh, negate is not up. This is colorless mana. Generic. Generic mana. Hashtag. My bad. Discard the land. They kept something. They play a land. Weird. They attack for two. Make a treasure. Brutal. Hit. Do not cast a sorcery. Or an enchantment, an artifact. <sighs> That's really good. So we need to exile it or they're going to bring it back. And it replaces itself anyways. Holy. Auto tapper. Getting the best of us. Alright, this goes to five. It can draw. This goes up as well. We need to negate Baraskas. Okay, land out, draw. I don't think we have a choice. Vigilance. This is not a field wipe. We're getting hit for nine minimum. with the anvil off the treasure and we'll need to top deck multiple field wipes the wolf they draw It's not a field wipe. Maybe this is. We should have waited, tried to first strike. Actually, no, it doesn't matter. They might just take it. Hopefully they block with the unifier, though. God bless. I mean, I th I th I'm fairly certain they're still dunking on us, but it, it was it was good. It was good. It was good. Oh yeah, bring that back, right? Let's go.
No anvil for you. See, chat? We're still in control. <laughs> what? There's more. There's another. Hmm. Well, that's not ideal. Get fused. That's pretty cool. Proliferating. Patience. With the draw. Hey! That's rude. You bully? I needed that. So this is going to cost four. This is going to cost another four, which is eight. We have uh, three additional mana. Let's take a draw. Huzzah! I think that actually is going to give them lethal. Well, no, because we still exile that. Okay, end turn. Can they just kill this? Run no. Away. That's not the damage You'll one. That's the scamp, her. right? Oh, I did my math wrong as well. This is costing us four, not three. Um, for some reason, I counted four mana. Whoops. Math is hard. I'm pretty sure we were dead anyways. But, you know, we do our best. Woof. Going first with no white mana. What do you think, Maya? Do we keep this hand? I, dude, I do not care. Will you pet me? Yeah, of course. Let's say hello. Give him a good meow. Mm, give him a good meow. All right, so we're in slow. We don't have anything to play, so it's fine though. They're also in slow. Tablet out, oil counter on, just so we're not holding up the game client, right? Let's be conscientious. Conscientious? Let's all be conscious. Just rolling around in the ocean, right? I don't mind that. I'm gonna take this immediately. Just so they can't ramp out, right? Take another oil counter. Fight rigging? Well, that's pretty good, eh? Hopefully they don't remove this. It's past turn. They're looking at the tablet. They're like, oh, they can use mana. Maybe there's protection. Shit. 
shakedown heavy is good. So they get a free cast here. Oh, fight rigging. You're still good, huh? <laughs> when you do that with it. Oh my gosh. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. That's not a good start, chat. Ward four. I can't even target it if I wanted to. Oh, and they have a... This is not a uh, depopulate, so... Sexy Rexy, getting down, getting dirty. I'm going to let him have it. Well, no, let's top deck depopulate. Come on, why not? Big money, big money, no whammies. Big money. Big money. No whammies. Yes? Oh, sure. No. Sexy Rexy. Nice card. All right. What did you think of the deck? How can we improve it? You know, am I overlooking something? Maybe there's some lands that I didn't consider that would be really good. Um, you know, we have Mondrex, so why not include Murex? There's also the the mycosynths, Myco which maybe could just copy the forge. Now that I think of it, this could be a cool angle as well. Uh, what do you guys all think? Let me know in the comments below. Again, you know, just one person, one angle. There are thousands of you, Legion. Hit me up. Let's build the best deck possible. And uh, while you get to there, we're gonna tear open this Phyrexia All Will Be One pack as well. Rip it down the side. Look at on the ground. I'll deal with this later, you know, like everything in my life. <laughs> we have a signed art card, baby. Let's go. This is looking pretty good. Going in the collection for sure. Assault on that Phyrexian. What is it even? Gold Warden's Gambit. So that must be a commander card because I'm unfamiliar. Or it's literally unplayable, and that's why I don't know about it. That's a holographic Full Art Island. A Shepherd. The Enforcer. The Justicar. So much poison. And here he's sacrificed. I kind of like that. Except it doesn't deal damage to the player. The Octopi. Restoration. The Scheming Aspirin. I think this is a very good budget card. I like that quite a bit. We have an Alt Art Furnace Punisher. Oh, oh, big money, big money. What is it? Run Breaker of Silence. Alt Art. Full Art. Oh, my lord. Look at that. Wowzers. Now that is a keeper. That is definitely a keeper. And we pull a mythic. Drivnod Carnage Dominus in the house as well. What a legendary pack. And then we get a holo... What? Stop it. Dude, what's mine say? That's not no normal trash holographic. This is a Lux Artillery for four. A commander card. An artifact, and whenever you cast an artifact creature spell, it gains Sunburst. It enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it for each color of mana spent to cast it. Woof. And at the beginning of your end step, if there are 30 or more counters among artifacts and creatures you control, the Lux Artillery deals 10 damage to each opponent. 
non-legendary you can stack that so that is a phenomenal pack we get the signed art card we get a holographic full art island we get Drivnod, we get an alt full art front breaker and then that holographic lux artillery that's like the whole pack is just absolute bonkers dude we should probably get thrown up top but uh nonetheless a beautiful beautiful pack thanks for watching have a magical day don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel to help support you can also become a youtube member for access to that exclusive sunday members only stream every single week 2 p.m mountain standard time if you want to bookmark it, put it in your schedule. Why not? We can play some matches against each other. I am looking forward to that. Cheers. I'll see you soon in the next.